There's enough stress in the holidays that you don't need to be fussing over your table last minute. So I've come up with a few quick and easy ideas to make sure your table looks glamorous and doesn't stress you out. The last thing you want to be doing the day of Christmas dinner is running around and fussing with your table. I like to set mine the night before. Put out all your basics, get that tablecloth ironed so you're not running around last minute. Then the day of you can focus on your centerpiece. A really bad habit with a centerpiece is to leave it as an afterthought and maybe pull something from your mantle and just plunk it down. You want your centerpiece to be organic, low, and very elegant. By organic, I mean it should reach to all the different areas of your table. And I have a really simple one that you can do. First, take some curling ribbon. It'll come on spools like this and comes in most colors. I like to use gold or silver and make sure it's got a nice shiny metallic. You can begin to spread it out over your table. Now to bring in some color. These are some beautiful Christmas balls from Ikea. They came in a huge tub and what's nice is that there's different sizes and different finishes. So you get the glass you looking red, the sparkle red, and then the matte red. What's perfect about using curling ribbon is it acts as sort of a gate for the balls and they don't roll away from you. So let's tuck a few of those in, add a few silver there. And it's already starting to take shape. I live in southern Ontario and it's so dry, so although I'd love to use real green, say for a centerpiece or my mantle, it's just not an option. They dry out too quickly. So I found a great new product. This is from Crabtree and Evelyn and they're scented botanicals called Windsor Forest. What I like is it brings in a natural element and a very, very, such a soft scent. So I'm going to add these to my centerpiece. And you can see how well the natural elements like the pine cones really complement the metallics got these lovely little birch sticks. I think they're so pretty. And of course we want to bring in a little green. So you can see how quickly that's really starting to beef up our centerpiece and look really quite beautiful. Everything you put on your table should be well thought out. You can see how quickly it can go. Don't get stuck in a routine when you're decorating for the holidays. Always bringing up the same items to put on the banister or on the fireplace. You can easily mix it up. What I like to do is I pick a theme every year. This year I'm doing vintage and last year I did Paris. So all I did was bring in some small Eiffel Tower ornaments and it gave it a real feel of Paris. Okay, we're almost done here. So we've got our botanicals woven in. Now of course we need to have a little sparkle. So I've got some Noel candles, also from Crabtree and Evelyn, and I'll tuck those in. The candles are really important to have because they're going to reflect off all that beautiful shine and really make your centerpiece a wow item. Isn't that beautiful? And that takes under about two minutes. Now I mentioned that this year I'm doing a vintage Christmas. So I thought a quick and easy way to bring in that theme is with Christmas crackers. I find most Christmas crackers are very tacky, so I tend to always make my own. You just need the roll from wrapping paper works well, or you can do paper towel, and the snaps. I picked mine up from Michael's Craft Store. Then all I simply did was went to a vintage magazine and cut out a sheet from the advertisements. And what was nice is this one had a bit of a Christmas theme. Then you simply tie, wrap it around and tie the bow. Inside I'll do custom messages to a friend or a beautiful hand product, something that they really want. It's amazing to see the look on people's faces when they think something's been done specially for them. I hope these tips help you and I hope you have a wonderful holiday.